Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here, and today we're gonna take a look at a really cool thing that you can do when you pick on an edge of your model. Oops, let me try that again. A really cool thing you can do here when you pick on an edge of your model. Nope, not the face. Wait, what's going on here? Can I just not select edges all of a sudden? Why can't I pick this edge? What? Why can't I pick this edge? Ow. So anytime we're working in SolidWorks and we end up seeing this icon, what it means is that we've enabled the selection filter functionality. In this case, I've set myself up so that I can only select faces. Now, this could be very useful if my goal was to select all of these end faces and maybe change their color, but it could be very frustrating if my goal was to select this edge and add a fillet. Uh, so frustrating, in fact, that I've seen many users who end up seeing this icon, can't figure out why they can't select edges anymore, so they just shut down SolidWorks and restart SolidWorks because they know that will uh, clear that functionality and let them pick edges again. So hopefully after today, you'll avoid those unnecessary restarts. And I think the big takeaway from today is learning about the F5 key on your keyboard. What the F5 key will do is it will show and hide what's known as the selection filter toolbar. Now by default, this toolbar shows up down the lower left area of SolidWorks whenever you press F5. And so we can see here that once we press the F5 key, we've got the ability to enable and disable filter faces. It's this third type of filter here and it's currently pressed in. So if we unpress that button, now we can select edges and vertices and all of the great types of geometry in SolidWorks. So I think the, the obvious question then becomes, how is it that these filters become activated? You know, I'm working away in SolidWorks here, everything is good, and then all of a sudden, I can only select faces. I can't select edges anymore. What, what just happened? Why did that occur? And so if we press the F5 key again to bring up our, our selection filter toolbar, we can see there's some out of the box key bindings that are, that are probably messing us up here. And so if we look at filter vertices, we can see that it is binded to the letter V or the key V. Uh, filter edges is binded to the key of E and filter faces is binded to the key of X. Now, in a practical world, what we could imagine is that we're working away on our keyboard, everything is good, and then we just happen to bump the letter V. So here we can see we can pick faces, edges, we can pick everything, then we just bump the letter V by accident, and now all of a sudden, we can't pick faces, we can't pick edges, we're very frustrated, and so we restart SolidWorks to uh, get back to the point where we can pick edges and faces, right? So I think that what we could what we could maybe do if we if we didn't want to see that key binding if we didn't want to accidentally bump those keys on our keyboard we could come up and do a right mouse button and choose customize then go to the tab for keyboard and we could type in filter and once we type in filter we can see that filter edges has a hotkey of E or we could do remove shortcut and filter vertices is hotkey to V, remove shortcut, and filter faces is hotkey to X, we could do remove shortcut. And so we could hit okay here, and now we could be working away in SolidWorks, maybe bump the letter X, it's no problem, maybe bump the letter V, it's no problem, life is good, and we avoid a lot of those frustrations. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you wanna see another example of something that I think is a little bit annoying in SolidWorks and the settings that I use to avoid it, be sure to check out this video as well. Of course, be sure to like, subscribe, maybe add a comment, and share this video with someone you know who's trying to learn some great time-saving tips in the wonderful world of SolidWorks. And I'll see everyone in the next episode.